The second part will show you on how to draw the Lewis structure of the covalent compound that involves the formation of multiple bonds. The example given is CO2. To draw the Lewis structure of CO2, follow the steps as given in the table. The first step is S, which refers to skeletal structure. Draw the skeletal structure of CO2 by placing the more electropositive atom, which is carbon, as the central atom, and more electronegative atoms as the terminal atoms. Place the bonds between the atoms. Step 2 is TOVA, which refer to total all valence electron. Calculate the total number of valence electrons in CO2. The valence electron for carbon is 4. Oxygen, 6 times 2 equals 12. Therefore, the total valence electron for CO2 is 16. Then, subtract the bonding pair electrons in order to get the remaining electrons to be distributed to the terminal atoms. Since we have two bonding pairs, which equals to four bonding pair electrons, so 16 minus 4 equals 12 electrons. Step 3. Distribute the valence electrons. Distribute the 12 valence electrons to the terminal atoms to make sure all oxygen atoms achieve octet. Any remaining valence electron placed at the central atom. In this case, we do not have the remaining electrons. Let's check the octet configuration for oxygen atom. And yes, the oxygen atoms have achieved octet configurations. Step 4 is M which refer to multiple bonds if necessary. If the central atom has not octet yet, move the lone pair of the terminal atom so that the lone pair is shared between the central and the terminal atom to form multiple bonds. Since carbon has not achieved octet yet, so we will move the lone pair from oxygen atom to be shared between carbon and oxygen atom. And now, the carbon is already achieved octet configuration. This is the correct Lewis structure of CO2.